Hello and welcome to another Wally Spark review. That's Wally with an E. And I just picked up this mop and broom holder. Nothing fancy, nothing special, but uh, hopefully it's going to be what I need for my needs. Comes with a little set of instructions. Comes with some screws and anchors but I'm screwing this into wood. I won't need the anchors and I don't necessarily like these screws. I think I'm just going to use some sheetrock screws. I always have good luck with those. I've hung some pretty heavy things up with those and never had a problem. So probably don't need these. This is the unit. It's black so it's a little hard to see but it holds five different mops or brooms or whatever you're going to put in there. What I like about this one too is it's got the one, two, three, four, five, six hooks you can pull down. And you got some hooks on there too. You got about one, two, three, four holes to screw to the wall and hang it. And this type here is a sill. It's got a cylinder in here and it retracts in when you push down on it. You can see that. Actually be facing this way. So you take your broom, put it in, and it locks it in there. And then to take it out, you just kind of go down like that. I don't like the clamp style ones because they're just a little more difficult to use and generally you probably have to use two hands to actually put a broom or something on them. Whereas this one here, if you can see this, I like just being able to walk up when this is connected to the wall and simply one hand, it's on, it's good, take it off. It'll work a little easier once I got this mounted, but yeah, one hand and there you go, you're done. So I like that. Actually, it goes this way. My bad. <laughs> All right. So, and then once it's in there, it's pretty solid. You're not going to be able to, it's not going to fall down. These, this is a pretty nice one, actually. I didn't pay much for it, but uh, it's a pretty nice one. So, yeah, these ones you can just kind of throw your broom in there with one hand. Very easy to use, as opposed to those clamp styles where one hand, you know, you kind of got to push hard and generally. You almost have to just take two hands, one on the top and bottom, and push it in and pull it back out. So this is a lot easier to use. I'm going to go ahead and install this on the side of my workbench here is where it's going. I'll show you that when I continue on here. But uh, yeah, I like this one. Looks like it's going to work out just perfect for me. Okay, I'm going to come back and show you the install and we'll try it out and see how it works. All right, so I got this all secured into the side of my workbench. Just used uh, one, two, three, four screws. I didn't use the screws that came with it. Like I said earlier, I prefer these um, common sheetrock screws. They go into wood easily and they secure very good. So I use those. And it looks nice. It looks like it's ready to try out. So let's grab one of my brooms here. And in it goes. Grab another one. And another one. And I'm able to do all that with one hand. That's exactly what I wanted this for as opposed to the clamp-on style ones. The only thing I wasn't sure of was my pooper scooper here, if this was going to work or not because the handle's kind of wide. But we're going to try to put it in here. And it does work. It's kind of stretching the limits of how far these catchers retract. But it did go in. So it's going to work just like I wanted it to. And it also has these hooks 
that come down. You can hang some more stuff on those. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. So a lot of storage in a small space. Now the only thing that I see here is that I have the ability to turn my brooms facing the way that they are so they fit in there nicely. But and that's because I don't have this on a flat wall. I've got space underneath my workbench legs here, an opening that will uh, allow me to do that. But I could see already that if you had this up against or, a, or attached this to a flat wall, you may not be able to do that. And you probably are going to have to face your brooms this way. And when you do that, it's going to start hitting the other brooms because there's not a lot of room between each holder space. But if you have this, unlike I do, low to the ground, if you have this hanging up high, you should have the ability to stagger your brooms. Like, for instance, one way up here, one way down there. So they're kind of basically not hitting each other, right next to each other. That's the only problem that I could see, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem if you do put this up higher on a flat wall. But other than that, uh, it seems to be working good. And my purpose of, another purpose that I wanted this for was, I didn't mind the brooms on the floor sitting up against the workbench, but what happens is they start collecting all the debris that's blowing through the garage down there. And, and it uh, builds up into a mess, and I wanted to avoid that. So now they're off the ground, and I won't have that collection area for dirt, dust, leaves, and everything else down there. But it seems to be working nice for my intents and purposes. I wish that the rack was a little bit wider, but then again, I don't have much room at the end of my workbench. Even if it was a little wider, I probably wouldn't get to that much more room anyways. I think uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description of where you can pick one of these up at. And in that link, that ad, they show a picture of a bunch of different things hanging on one of these as an example. And they have them nice and neatly on there. And they do have it up higher on the wall, so they did stagger some things and it worked out perfectly. So. I think you won't have a problem with that, but just keep that in mind. But for me, this works out excellent. Um, the only other downfall I can see too, if you want to call it that, is if you are going to hang up a lot of things here, use all these extra hooks, they're going to kind of get in the way of pulling the brooms in and out. For example, you know, not too bad, but uh, taking them out, but when you go to put them back in, you're probably going to have to kind of work work it around that whatever you got hanging here, which is kind of a hassle. But if you're looking to store a lot of things in a small spot, this is going to work out perfectly. All right, so that is it. I would recommend this product. Just keep in mind some of the downfalls of it that I mentioned. I will leave a link in the description of where you can buy one of these. We hope you do appreciate, or we hope you do subscribe. We do appreciate it very much. Thank you for watching.